Hi folks, welcome back to my channel and day 23 of Inktober 2018. I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day and enjoying Inktober so far. Only 8 more days to go. So the word prompt for today is muddy and with my animal theme I thought I'd paint a muddy picture of a muddy pig. Today I chose to use my Ecoline inks, including the black one this time, and I thought I'd have a go at using a Derwent spray bottle to add a muddy background effect later on in the painting. So stay tuned if you want to see how that turns out, and don't forget if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon as well if you don't want to miss out on any future videos. So on with our little pig then, and to begin with I marked it in the eyes using my Micron waterproof fine liner and a mixture of blue and black ink on my tiny paintbrush. I think adding blue to the black ink can really help to make the eyes shine. Then it was time to move on to the pig's snout, and I'm using a fairly limited colour palette today, just three colours plus the black, and I swatched these out on a piece of watercolour paper before I started. I really like using a limited colour palette as I've said before as it kind of forces you to explore the mixing possibilities more thoroughly than if you were to just reach for another colour. On the pig's snout I started off with the lightest of my colours, the pink beige, and then whilst that was still wet added some grey and some pastel rose and let them blend together on the paper. And this was pretty much the method I used for the whole of the pig. I was using the wet on wet so the colours could mix, but I was kind of working from the nose outwards and didn't pre-wet the whole of the drawing first to give me a bit more control and time to work with. That said, I did want to paint this pig in a looser style today, as my plan for the background was also going to be quite loose, but I did really enjoy the process and the whole painting took just an hour and a half. Now close up you might be able to see how the black ink has started to dry on the darkest area of the pig, like the right ear as I've done here, and also as I go through the painting on the legs. But to be honest the fact that it dries a slightly lighter, almost purpley colour wasn't too much of a problem in this painting, as it kind of gave the pig a softer look and blended in with the other colours like the grey and the pink. And one thing I did want to try and do today was to make sure that I left some of the white of the paper as I've been doing this a bit in the last couple of paintings and I really like how fresh it makes the finished painting look. So with the main parts of the face done and the ears, it was time to then put a little bit of definition onto the feet of the pig. And again, I didn't want to put too much detail in here because I was planning on doing quite a messy background. So just to mark in the main sort of colours and a sort of a suggestion of where the, the little pig's trotters were, but again, not spending too much time. But with the main structures mapped out and loosely painted, I went in and then added a little bit more detail to the snout area and added a few more layers as well just to hype up the contrast in the darker areas. And you can see I'm just adding another layer of the Ecoline Black because although, as I said, it's not a bad colour when it dries, it does kind of blend in with the other colours, you still do need some of that contrast to kind of pull the piece together and make it stand out. So I did go in a couple of times and go over those darker areas. But with that done, it was then time to concentrate a little bit of detail around the pig's eyes. 
and I just used my really fine paintbrush for this just to kind of make those eyes really stand out. So with that all done it was time to add the background and I thought to start with I'd add a little bit of paint using my splattering method just two areas of the background being careful to cover up the pig itself before then going in with my Derwent water spray bottle so this is just clean water in a spray and I thought that the water spray would actually push those splatters around a lot more than it actually did but maybe I was just a bit cautious since I've not really used this much before and I didn't really want to spoil the pig because I was kind of happy with how he was turning out. But being that it didn't push the paint around that much, I did then go in with a fairly wet paintbrush, add some more water and some more paint and just kind of moved my board around. And got a fairly loose background which I kind of like. So anyway, that's it for today. I hope you like the video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon as well if you don't want to miss out on any more daily inktober videos so thanks for watching and i'll see you all again tomorrow